if I put my hand at the focus of that mirror, then all of a sudden, and it also is a little bit on angle, because um, you're going to be there, and so the focus is going to be up here. So if I put my hand at the focus, can you see my hand? Okay. So when you put an object at the focus of the mirror, can you see my hand? Can you see it now? It's upside down? No, it disappeared? Okay, good. So when you put your hand at the focus, the image disappears. Because the light never converges again. And it doesn't, if it's spread out, your brain draws those lines backwards for you. Okay? If it's, but if it's not, so your brain is actually quite, quite good at forming images, which it needs to be. Okay? So if the lines, here, I'll show you. Got a little bit of time, we're just playing in on this. We're good at kind of playing. We already said that if the beams cross, then our eyes say, oh, there must be an object there. Because if my eyeball's over here, then it sees the light coming at me, and it says, oh, well, you know, just like a light bulb's there, light emanates from a single spot, so there must be an object there. But let's say, for instance, they didn't go through a focal point. Let's say, for instance, the focal point was over here, right? And so our light came in and bounced off some surface, like a convex lens or con a convex mirror. Okay? Can everybody see that? Is yeah, the mirror well, your brain is good enough at this game to where it says, wait a second, you know, if I see light coming at me, then that light must have come from someplace, right? And so your brain draws this back and says it must have come from someplace along that line. And it also says that this light must have come from somewhere along that line. And this light must have come from somewhere along that line. And then all of a sudden, it draws these lines back for you without conscious thought. And it says, oh, if this light was coming at me like this, then if I draw it all back, I must find the origin of that light. And so even though it's behind the mirror, the origin must be at that point. And so your brain says, oh, that's where the object is. And your brain draws an image of an object behind, even though it's not possible to have an object back there, or at least to see it. Your brain is taking this information and filling in the blanks, essentially. Okay? Just like, you know, have you all ever seen the, the demonstration where you have a... Um, a cage on one side of a piece of paper and a bird on the other side of a piece of paper and you flip it back and forth and you flip it back and forth and if you flip it back and forth fast enough it looks like the bird is inside the cage mm -hmm. because your brain is processing stuff that's not there. It's taking the information that it has and forming the best, the best available sense of it. Right? And in that particular illusion it looks like the bird is inside the cage. Well, in this particular instance, it's an illusion, but your brain is drawing this information back and drawing a spot. And says, if it comes from a spot, or if I can make it come from a spot, then there must be an image there. And your brain does that for you. However, the case that you just mentioned where it's at a focal point, so our image is there, the light comes up, bounces off, goes parallel, bounces off and goes parallel, bounces off here, goes parallel, so on and so forth. If our eye is over here, then what happens is our eye draws this line back, and it draws that line back, and it draws that line back, and those lines never ever cross. And since they never ever cross, there can't be something there producing light. So there must not be something there. And so even though there is something there, your brain says, no, no, there's nothing there. There's nothing to see. And so it doesn't form an image. So if you want to be a vampire, even if you're not a vampire, then stand at the focal point of the concave mirror and you'll disappear. Inside the mirror. 
you yourself will not actually disappear, but the image inside the mirror will disappear, at least for a moment. So, there you go. What other questions do you have?